What the? What the hell is that thing? Shut up! To send up the North Wing? I was told to bring this one here. Is there a problem? No, no problem. He needs to sign the checkpoint. You, sign the checkpoint. Jake Hawkfield. Huh. Alright, I'll call it in. They should have a cell ready for him when he get there. Understood. Opening. Gas masks are dying, 
And it appears to be completely random. You heard about Rick? Yeah, I heard about Rick. He's messing around with other inmates, so... Why are you surprised? Yeah, well... Hmm. That inmate didn't die in the cell, so I'm guessing it's pretty clean. Cell W-17. To the east block shower. Thank you. Shower. And he started coughing really hard. And, and then hey, he. You heard that story about that butcher guy. 
Victor, Dead. what story? I heard he and his brother Igor used to work in the same kitchen down here. But they always fly, you know, brother spoiled. Anyway, one day, some of the guards got involved. This place is falling apart. Isn't that guy supposed to repair you long enough? Yeah. All right, you follow me. And he will. Man, I'm sick of this shit. Talk to the warden, I'll take it from here. But I was ordered to escort this guy. I know. I also know you don't want to stand near the door for 15 minutes listening to his long ass boring speech now, do you? Uh. Um, but hey, you don't have to say anything. Just go have your sandwich and call it a day, alright? Go on, get out of here. Okay. So, the new guy, huh? Come on, let's go see the Grim Reaper. wants to piss in this guy's ears for 20 minutes. Give me that Alexander little piece of Johnson, paper so he can sign it. Report to the Western uh, Bloc immediately. Yeah, the fuck point. Hey, hey Baldy, sign it up. I always wanted. This place is in like the 23rd century, technology-wise. But we still make people sign these damn fuck points with the pen and paper. You tell me. Hey, you tell me. Doesn't that seem a little contradictory to you? No shit? Well, congratulations. The first smart thing to come out of your mouth today. Now put your lazy ass back to sleep. You, come on. Let's get this over with. So, Jake, huh? My name's Brian. As you might have noticed, I'm new here, just like you. I'm pretty sure you can tell I ain't been here long, because I don't look like a dumb robot. But you gotta understand what I'm talking about. I mean, waking up every day to walk around the same goddamn halls, making sure there's no trouble, I can turn you into a rope. Some of the guards had spies by beating up inmates over nothing. Some others, like that dead idiot Rick, go into drugs. <laughs> he paid the price. Look, just so you know, there's something going on in here. For the past couple of days, people have been getting sick, and some people died. If you see someone coughing, just stay away, and you should be fine. Jesus. He just banged his head against a bed. He must have really loved that bed or something. Alright. Go ahead and eat that shit. Leave, leave. Alright. Wait here for a few secs. I got some business with the ward. Don't move, alright? saw that look in his eyes. He might be human after all. Go ahead now. Good luck. H hello there. I am the warden, but I would like it better if you'd think of me as your humble host, which would make you my guest. As your host, it is my duty to give you a tour of the place, or at least provide you with enough information about how things work around here. It is... Better if you do not try to think about when you will leave this place. 
I know a man needs hope to survive, but... <laughs> uh, let's just face it, all right. You're gonna be locked up for a good while. And as long as you behave and obey orders, you'll be fine. Now get out of here! <laughs> oh my god, that was priceless! I know you don't really see what's funny here, but this guy usually talks shit for like 20 minutes, and right now he just completely lost it! <laughs> oh damn, that was good. It's a shame about his daughter though. Anyways, I'll escort you out. Warden hasn't spoken to his daughter in a couple of years. You know, when you come to work here, they don't really let you out until your contract ends. So I guess in a way, you and I are both prisoners in this place. Only difference is I get a paycheck, and I get to beat you up. <laughs> don't worry, I won't be doing that too much. Open up. Well, that was quicker than expected. I still got some time before my next shift. You hungry? You ate anything today? Here, follow me. Hey, Victor. Meet Jay, the new guy. Say, you think you could give him a little something special? You know, for a nice welcome. Special something only for security. He inmate. Ah, oh, come on, man. Where did your solidarity go? Aren't you from, like, the Soviet Union or something? You know, communism and all that shit? Sharing no matter the class? Come on, give the guy a burrito. I give you burrito, not him. All right, fine. Give me a burrito. Jake, here, have my burrito. You Americans, so disrespectful, you'll think you can just do anything. One day, this place is going down to hell. And today that happens, Igor and I will slice you all to bits. Oh yeah? Well for the meantime, you keep slicing that meat. You better keep your mouth shut. Jake, you enjoy that burrito. You think you can keep me here forever? You took advantage of me and my brother, signing for a 20 years contract. You think this is legal? You pay for this. You'll all pay for this.
I didn't do nothing. Oh. That you were a god. I'm, I'm not feeling so well. Da 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 and round and round came to spread the word that you're a fucking pig. What's that? You don't like poetry? Well, I doubt you're gonna like this, Mr. X-Cop. You're here because many people died. I held you responsible for this, and I'm gonna make sure you go straight to hell for what you did. What do you remember? You don't wanna know. Take him away. <laughs> <laughs> 